You know the day destroys the night Night divides the day Try to run, try to hide Break on through to the other side Break on through to the other side Break on through to the other side, yeah So, uh, Mark, uh, do you have any previous experience as a disc jockey? No. Tell me why you want to work at KPOI, the big kahuna. Well, I've loved rock and roll since, since I was a child. Who are some of your favorites? Uh, Todd Rugren, The Beatles, pre-66. Oh, why pre-66? That was the year McCartney died. See, everything after that was just a ruse. See, my show would specialize in, in the exposing of cover -up. What makes you think that people are going to be interested in learning, uh, hearing about, about an 11-year-old hoax? The same reason people still talk about Roswell. But because they're crazy? Because it's true. Paul McCartney died in 1966. <laughs> He was replaced by William Campbell, a look-alike. There are over 300 clues in their lyrics. On album covers. In their songs. People went crazy over this theory. What are you up to, Tom? I'm just putting the finishing touches to my article for the Daily. McCartney killed in Crash of 66. How come I don't know about this? No one does. It's, uh, it's a theory that I've been piecing together over the past few weeks. Have you heard the end of Strawberry Fields Forever? No. I buried Paul. Listen to this. Scary stuff, man. Coppin will never print that, Tom. I mean, that's just a bunch of conspiracy theory bullshit. The proof. Like the devil is in the details. I'll catch you later, Fred. How did it go? I was a big hit. They'll call me by the end of the week. I'm sure you'll get it, honey. I have to! I dreamt last night. Same as the night before. And the night before that. I was in a room. There was nothing but a bed and a TV. So I got up and turned the TV on, and I could see myself. I could see myself in a world where I was somebody, where I mattered. You mattered to me. Thank you, Gloria. <laughs> 